Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss four important terms that are related to flower. That is complete flower, incomplete flower, perfect flower and imperfect flower. What is the difference between these, these terms? We will discuss this. So first, we know that all the flowers have four parts that is calyx, corolla, androsium and gynosium. So these are the four parts that are present in a flower. If all the four parts are present in a flower, if all these calyx, corolla, androsium, gynosium, all these are present in a flower, then this flower will be called complete flower. If any of them or more than one, any one of them or more than one is absent, then it will be called incomplete. If calyx is not there, then it will be incomplete. Corolla is not there, then it will be incomplete any one of them or more than one suppose calyx and androsium both are absent then it will also be called incomplete flower so this is complete and incomplete flower all if all parts are there then it is complete if any one or more than one is missing then it is incomplete flower now coming to next perfect flower we know that for sexual uh, we know that flowers are made for sexual reproduction and two parts are necessary for sexual reproduction that is androsium and gynosium if both these parts are present in a flower then this flower will be called perfect flower but if any of them is absent suppose androsium is not there gynosium is present then it will be called imperfect androsium gynosium is there androsium is not there if any one of two is absent then it will be called imperfect flower now look at this situation a perfect flower may be complete or incomplete this is statement a perfect flower may be complete or incomplete look at this here we have four parts calyx corolla androsium and gynosium it is complete flower because all parts are there and it, it is also perfect because androsium and gynosium is there now may be complete or incomplete look at this situation here corolla is there androsium is there gynosium is there so both these are there that means it is complete uh, perfect but here calyx is absent so that means it is incomplete so here in that situation it will be incomplete perfect here in that situation it will be complete and perfect so a perfect flower may be complete or incomplete but imperfect flower always be incomplete how look at this here we have calyx corolla androsium gynosium is not there so if gynosium is not there that means it is imperfect flower here you will see that if all four parts are there then we will call it a complete flower so all four parts are not there here you can see that gynosium is absent so it is incomplete flower and imperfect flower in this situation also you can see that calyx corolla and gynosium androsium is not there so here you can see that it is incomplete and imperfect because androsium is absent so these are four term complete incomplete perfect and imperfect flower if all parts are there this is complete and one or more than one is missing incomplete perfect and imperfect for me to uh, the terms for androsium and gynosium if androsium and gynosium both are there then it's perfect if any one of them is absent then it is called imperfect so this is difference between complete incomplete perfect and imperfect flower